West Hungary with Wonderheart, and we're hunting for pigs. Big pigs. <laughs> is a forest bursting with game. And I need to find me some boar. Hungary has become a hunter's hotspot for these ancient woodland creatures. And no wonder. Their size and speed is legendary. And so is their temper when things don't go quite according to plan. Looking after me on this trip are Zoltan and Tom. Zoltan is a hunting legend and one of Hungary's most respected big game hunters. Tom is one of Zoltan's star pupils and created Wonderheart to bring hunters from across the globe to Hungary's hunting paradise. Just driving around gives us a sense of what's in store, and I can't wait to start looking for a big Kylo. We've seen a huge tusker. He's just down at a plantation below us, an ash plantation. Now he's got a bit of funny jaw. One of his tusks is broken on one side, which has allowed the other one to grow quite long, the bottom one. So our guide Zoltan's just going to go and check him out. The wind was against us, so we're going to try and come around the bottom and then push up, uh, come from downwind of him. Let's go and have a look. The wind is going to be a problem this evening. As we head towards the thick cover of the plantation, we hear our boar, who either has tusk ache or thinks we're a little too close for comfort. He's standing in the, in the ash yeah. because it's a good cover. Yeah. And if uh, probably we, we crossed the ash plantation, then we pass him yeah. and turn back against the wind. And then go against the wind, because yeah. he heard us. Yeah. And smelt us. Yes, smelt us. Because uh, he made a bit of a grunting noise yeah. over into the yeah. ash. He's so, uh, a grumpy old boy. Yeah, the would be he's got a broken teeth, yeah. yeah. On this one, the boar comes out on top. But just in case he's still close, we approach this fellow with caution as not to spook it. We get closer and closer. Zoltan thinks about moving in for a hug. But finally, its survival instinct kicks in, if a little late. So actually we got up pretty close to that, uh, that fellow turned out to be a young bug, really, really young. And uh, looks like he's not very bright, but uh, here's us thinking we're superhuman stalkers and actually I think we've got a blind fellow deer. Anyway, maybe he thinks he's human. For the rest of the evening we try and find our single tusker, but with no luck. However, as we head back to the lodge, this big boy shows himself. I can't wait for tomorrow. So, we're back at Wonderheart this morning. And we had a phenomenal day yesterday. But we didn't get our boar. Now there's loads of game out there. We saw quite a few big tuskers. But the problem is the light just went and uh, we just didn't have enough time. But however, the sunshine is out today. And we did so much scouting around we know exactly where they are. So, you may have noticed yesterday but I'm using this, which is my Ruger Gunsight Scout in 308. Now it's based on the Ruger M77 action, which has this um, one-piece bolt, Mauser ejector, laminate stock, but more importantly it has this, a 16 and a half inch barrel. 308 caliber, so 16 and a half inch is actually quite short, normally 20 to 22 inches standard. But this is absolutely perfect for hunting in enclosed conditions, such as tight woodland or tree stands and hides. And these 185 grain Lapua Megas are perfect for poleaxing pigs. So we've got exactly the gear we need. All we need now is our tusker. The good weather means that there's some sun worshipping going on in the dappled light of the forest. A large boar is spotted taking it easy. So easy, in fact, that we get within a few yards before it senses danger. We have a tense standoff with what we now see as a female with piglets. So that was quite exciting. Um, we spotted a boar lying in the sunshine, quite a big boar, and, uh, but we couldn't see if it was a male. So we stopped all the way down here, we got within 15 yards of it. And it turns out that it's a large sow with, uh, with some piglets. So she didn't look very happy that we were there. Kind of snorted a bit, a little bit like my wife does. And then she buggered off, so very exciting. You're never really sure what's going to be there. I wasn't quite ready to take the shot anyway, but uh, no, it's great to see we're getting closer and closer all the time. Surely we've worked hard enough over the past two days to get close to a big male. 
and sure enough, half an hour later this guy appears from behind the trees. Once he's clear, I shoot and he drops on the spot. It's a magical moment and Zoltan is as pleased as I am. And he's down. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> gratulate partner. Super hunting. Now that's some hard work. Now that is one huge pig. Now we've put some serious work into this over the past two days. And good old Zoltan here, he can smell pigs a mile away. So we've been doing a lot of walking, a lot of stalking, a lot of spotting. And there's been hundreds and hundreds of youngsters or sows. And this is the first decent bull we've seen for a while. So, and now we get a shot. Partner, gratulator. Thank you Zoltan. He really is a monster. Just the sort of animal I was hoping to find in this country where they really grow them big. Nice big healthy pig. He must be four or five years old. He's huge in the body and no exit wound, you know. Oh, well, there it is, actually. Of course, on the continent, tradition and hunting go hand in hand, and we pay our respect to this magnificent wild boar. If you want to find out more about hunting here with Tom and Zoltan, go to wonderheart.co.uk.